In this presentation, we're going to be looking at how we can use paint effects to populate our scene with some foliage. Artists can now control how paint effect strokes react with surfaces, volumes, and each other. So we're going to look at a simple example of how we can use paint effects to interact with a piece of geometry in our scene. So what I want to do is I want to have some flowers around the base of this oil can and have that oil can collide with them and influence the overall effect or shape of those flowers. So we'll just grab the daisy brush off of our shelf and Maya ships with several hundred different preset brushes and I'll just stroke out a few flowers. So with that done, we'll go ahead and we'll add to our selection our oil can and we'll tell it that it's a collision object. So now that that collision set up, you can see as that can sort of moves into those flowers, it's going to push them away. So the next thing that we want to look at is how we can use the surface attract attribute to basically make this plant kind of reach over and grab onto that oil can. So we'll bring up the uh, paint effects stroke. We'll go to the surface attract. We'll put that up to a value of one and we'll increase this max distance to a range that the plant falls within. So we'll put it up to a value of 50 or so. And now you can see as I start to move this can around, as it gets close to those flowers and they get within that max distance, they start to bend over and attract to the can, then obviously the collision is going to happen and it's going to push the flowers away. But you can get these really cool effects of uh, paint effects interacting with geometry. So that's a pretty simple example of a couple of different ways that we can use paint effects to interact with geometry. Let's look at something that's a little bit more complicated. What we want to do now is we want to have this vehicle covered with vines. And to do that, we're going to make it a paintable piece of geometry. So the first thing we're going to do is select a piece of geometry that we want to grow the vines off of, and we'll make it paintable. Let's go ahead and grab a brush, which is just a simple vine brush. Let's deselect that piece of geometry now. And you'll notice that my brush now follows the contour of that piece of geometry. So what we're going to do is we're going to stroke on this um, a bunch of kind of ferny looking vines that kind of grow out over it. So we'll just sort of grow these vines up and sort of do something like that. And you can see that that tracked surface basically got the line on there and then the plants grow out off of that. But they really don't look like they're attached to this piece of geometry and they're wrapping around it and engulfing it. And that's really the effect that we want to achieve. So we're going to change some of the attributes again on that paint effect stroke to get that to happen. We're going to be using the occupation surface to do this. Occupation is based on a space colonization algorithm that helps avoid self collisions. You can use it to cause the tubes to grow over the surface or into volumes, and it's really pretty awesome. It's going to look like this is being wrapped around by these objects. And the idea behind it is, on the surface, there's attract points. The attract points basically have a range that they can reach out and try to grab stuff. And once they pull things down into those attract points, and that tube or branch or, or flower touches one of those attract points, it becomes occupied. Once a point's occupied, it no longer will attract other branches or tubes. So you can use the um, kind of the occupation size to adjust how densely things can pack into areas or how sparsely you want things to be uh, kind of distributed. The idea behind this is plants want to grow where other plants don't exist. And that's really the, uh, that's it in a nutshell. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just increase our um, Radius offset, so we're going to get that big enough that it can go out there and grab those guys. We'll put it up to something like a value of 25, and we'll increase our occupation attract. We'll just pump it up to like 50, so you can see that that occupation attract essentially is how much can those branches bend? How strong are they going to try to get to those attract points? And you can see they start to bend over and look like they're attached to that vehicle. Let's put it up to something like a value of uh, 150 and see what that does. So as soon as I get it up to a value of 150, you can really start to see that these guys are really coming down. They're finding the door jam. They're really looking pretty cool. It's just a matter of finding a value that looks good, that does exactly what you want. You know, maybe, maybe 300 is what we want. You know, that's a little, that's a little too extreme. We'll go back down to 160. I like the way that one looks. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and just create um, some geometry from that guy. We'll grab another brush and we'll just draw some more plants on here. So we'll kind of just go up and over and down and you can see there goes that guy. It's, you know, again, looking pretty cool. Sort of come across this guy like that maybe and boom, they wrap down and around and occupy it. And we'll finish off maybe coming across like that. So you get this kind of sense of what these guys really look like. And you can take this one step further by turning on surface collision too. And this is going to really, again, use that same surface collide that we looked at before 
and it's going to really change the look and feel of this one, but it, you can see how it kind of pops that guy out so that it now just sort of tracks onto that piece of geometry and collides with the surface. So we'll convert that to geometry one more time. So the last thing that we want to look at is um, using one of these grass brushes. So let's go ahead and reset this guy. And we'll grab this grass brush. And if I increase the size of this brush so that it's pretty big, you'll see that it's essentially hanging over the edge of the piece of geometry. And when I paint across here, you can see that those tubes that come out really aren't attached to that piece of geometry. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the snap to surface attribute so that those guys basically come down and snap onto that surface. So you can see that now they've all snapped onto that surface. And let's go ahead and just, for fun on this guy, turn on the, uh, the surface attract also. Or I'm sorry, the occupy attract. So we'll crank that up to maybe 150. We'll give it a range of 10, and I'll just start to increase that a little bit. It might be a little too harsh. Let's give this a range of 20, and we'll make this 75, so it's not quite as extreme. And we'll convert those guys to polys also, and you can really get a sense of, you know, what this stuff starts to look like. It really starts to engulf the, the vehicle and, and sort of overtake it and become wild. So we'll just uh, play this back. So that's just a few examples of how we can use these attributes to uh, quickly and easily create a wide range of natural effects that would be really difficult and time consuming to do. And obviously the examples that you could do with this are, are pretty endless. You could do lots of cool um, biomedical stuff like vascular networks or, or uh, clinging vines, veins, uh, water flows, the, the endless results that you can get with the paint effects with all of these cool surface attributes that allow them to interact with geometry.